Hi, in third video we will discuss the CTC of each variant reconciliation. In second video we were about to discuss why do we need this kind of reconciliation when we have two other reconciliations, hit count and input output. So do we actually require it? Is there any purpose which this reconciliation will serve? Yes, this reconciliation is very important because in addition to these two, what we have discussed earlier, there are kind of inquiries which we got from employers at the end of the year that they got the salary on a monthly basis which is correct as with the computation which HR department have shared with them. But when they got to compare with their appointment letter, then there is a differences. So now they want to know what is the reason between these differences. There are differences in the salary actually paid to the employee and as per the appointment letter. So to find out the differences, to find out the reasons for these differences, we need this reconciliation. What is the objective? Now it is clear that yes, accuracy in the payroll processing throughout the year. So now let's open this Excel sheet. We have a format in which we have mentioned the salary of all employees throughout the year. Here you can link this sheet with your salary sheet April 2013 to March 2014. In this Video we have computed only for the month of January 14. So I have linked up this sheet with my payroll output of January 2014. You can see here it is this equal to payroll output C4. So this is my actual computation of January 2014. On a sample basis I just took this employee and I will take you through the difference of this employee actually paid and the payment as per the appointment letter. So I have considered that this employee is getting the salary exactly same what he was getting in the month of January 14. That is 22,476 figures for the period April 2013 to December 13. These are assumptions. Assuming that there is no LWP and no further deduction. So I have assumed it here as the person was present for 31 days throughout the year. Be 31 or 30. These columns, these rows are blank. We have not considered this. I have only just picked up this for a sample purpose. So now this is my salary actually paid to this employee, which, which is the total of B10 to M10. So now this is my total of salary actually paid to the employee, and this is the gross salary of the CTC as per the appointment letter. Let's see, is equal to this minus this. There is a difference. Difference of rupees 16,080 rupees. Don't go by these figures because definitely there will be a difference. This is only for the January 14 salary. You can consider any other figure or link it with your salary sheet will get the exact figure. And then in case if there is any difference it will reflect here. Okay, we have to find out what is the reason for this difference of 16,080. We have a payroll input in which for E7 Telephone deduction, cafeteria deduction. This is equal to 1340. This is on a monthly basis. It's equal to 12 into 1340. It comes to around 16080. Exactly the same water two is different. So next time any employee comes to you regarding the difference in their salary as well as their gross salary CTC, then you can mention him what is the reason of the difference between these. So the reason is telephone and the cafeteria deduction. CTC reconciliation serves this purpose. That's why this is very important. Move on to slides. Thank you so much. Hope this presentation serves the purpose. In case if you have any further questions or any queries, please feel free to ask.